uh, hi again. I thought I will just first make you a video about what is really at the moment in my wardrobe. I have two wardrobes. This is the wardrobe where I keep the items, um, like tops, my jumpers. Uh, here I keep my other tops and plus winter socks there. But yeah, that's what I'm doing. I think I have a few more items out. My... Quickly. <laughs> my other items here is the drawer where i keep my trousers and my summer pyjama at the moment i don't know why it's there but yeah <laughs> another one another one and then here are the other items so here are my four jumpers this is like in red green blue and black i have one more black one which is going to be washed and then one more which is going to be given away i recently gave away i think three jumpers uh if you would have to ask me like would i give away any of these i would have no problem to give away any of them um the thing is they're practical you know it's not like they're super spark joy but they are very very practical and they are warm especially with the prices of the heating so <laughs> so yeah that's that's what i have i don't see the reason to give them away you know it's not everything always about super spark joy i would say i will not find better ones to, which would spark joy more so here they are the practical jumpers here are my four silly uh, christmas items uh, a dress two jumpers and one t-shirt so that's what I, it is and, and there is also elf's hat <laughs> i do not intend to get through it with any of these i i like them I use them just one month a year, but I seriously enjoy that time and yeah, <laughs> that's what I have. You know, people are buying the Christmas pajamas every year. That's that's what I actually own as a Christmas item. So yeah, that's what I have. Uh, I changed the better way of storing it. So I put my more neutral jumpers in front and then the Christmas items with my red and gray jumper I put on the back. So yeah. That's how I store it right now. <laughs> Added to the back two pairs of socks, winter socks. Um, this yeah. is what left in this drawer with um, pyjamas and t-shirts. So here is the row of t-shirts, here is the row of pyjamas. Um, there is a row of tights. So as you see, that's why I needed tights. So in the second, I will just little move things around and I will show you the new setting. Okay, so here is a new setting where I added old IKEA's uh, baskets uh, and I put there the summer pyjama and the dressing gown as well as the new tights actually into this basket because I think it's more delicate for the material than those, uh, these um, scoops <laughs> uh, containers So because they had zips and sometimes zips are catching um, the items, you know, so it's safer to be in the basket. So that's at the moment. Um, I'm in need of buying uh, trousers. Here are my three pairs of shorts. Here are my leggings, which um, they are too big at the moment, but I will not get rid of them. You know, sometimes I just need something comfortable in the house. Then I have my one leggings, like sporty leggings, I would say. <laughs> and then here is the pair which I bought, like a winter ones. I was super excited. And then I realized the quality, it's just like super awful. I will repair it. I just didn't have a mindset to, to do it. I have after that, I think like three pairs of trousers and one of them I can wear if I wear the belt. I just need to give away something and, and I need to repair these trousers. <laughs> Obviously it's not amazing, but um, like comparing that there was a huge hole, I think it looks quite, <laughs> I think it looks better anyway. I think it looks like a clothing custom scar. Well, but at least it's still less visible, um, this element, than what I had just before with a huge hole there. So, yeah. Well, I love it with a scar. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I like you with the scar. It's okay. I will wear them continuously until they break again somewhere else where I cannot fix. Here are my two cardigans, which I had till now, and now I have the new one. So this is what I own at the moment as the cardigan. This is my only 
official clothing which I own so if I would not have this one I have nothing official to wear like for interviews or something the thing is I I haven't been on interview like personal <laughs> interview for so long and then I always worn something completely different actually than this I, I worn this once um but um yeah it's XL as well it's also my threaded on yeah definitely it goes away <laughs> yeah it's XL and it just looks like it's too small but yeah uh yeah I, I will never wear it I think so it's it goes away <laughs> uh, here is like a very warm blouse it's like you see extreme it's super warm it's a good quality but it's so worn out that I would just I need to throw it away I mean if I would be probably without home and I would find it I would not mind it but you know there is so many good clothing which people are giving away that I think nobody will really miss this one if it will be thrown away so yeah I need to let it go so I will recycle this and here are the socks as well which I give away because they just fell apart <laughs> Here are my six blouses. Um, three of them looks, look almost identical. <laughs> um, I like them. I mean, they are, look identical, but they are not identical. And I actually like them all. And until they fall apart, you know, I will keep them, even if they're a little too big. But I also like oversized clothing. So, um, yeah, here is my shirt, which you know from my uh, first video. So I love it. I just love it. I love all details about it. It's seriously, I love it. Like even here. So yeah, definitely a keep. Um, here you can see my collection of five shirts. Uh, when it's summertime, I just wear white shirts. I just love them. They have different details. And the new one is this one. I have a new shirt. <laughs> looks the most ironed <laughs> and then I have to by the way wash this because uh, I picked it up in the shop and it was dirty yeah it was on the floor must be washed I mean it must be washed anyway but um, yeah with the focus on it <laughs> so yeah and then of course on top uh, I have the blue one and then I think in the same style I would count this one but I still don't know if I want it I, I need to put jeans and this shirt then I will decide okay washed out now I just need to wash it in the washing machine probably with this one I mean why this looks so yellow I mean it's called ivory but <laughs> I don't know if I should wash them together <laughs> like looking at them next to each other I think I know what happened to this. Um, it should have a blouse under, like a lining. So I've seen the pictures of it. That's why it's see-through. It shouldn't be. It was very pretty itself with this thing under, but it's kind of like missing piece. Maybe that's why it's so discounted. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know now. Mm. I think what happens from beginning is I'm trying to justify these two uh, shirts. Like, why would I buy them? Uh, this one is too short for me. I don't like the sleeves as well that they are so short and it's black. So it's not like super comfortable to wear out uh, in the summertime. And additionally, I have these three black blouses if I want to wear. And then the white one. Um, yeah, I'm just justifying. I think I just need to return them. So. That's what will happen. I'm keeping these two though. And additionally, I will keep this one. Sporty one. Which seriously has such a weird color in this light. I think that just like iPhone discovers that it's actually brown when it looks black. But it's it's maybe it's brown. I don't know. Because everything else looks black and this one looks brown. But okay. <laughs> maybe I'm just color blind to what it's quite possible. <laughs> what I found interesting about this sports item. Um, it's actually, the material is called Yummy. Sun-washed, super soft model and sport. Hmm. But actually it's really comfortable, so. 
Okay, so finally I removed the price tags from the items. I keep seven of them. Two are going back to the shop and seven of them stay with me. Labels removed, so they are definitely claimed. Um, and I'm going to make three washings. And on top I'm adding the tights and socks, which I'm going to wash as well. So after revisiting the wardrobe, this is how it looks like. Here, this is how it looks like. This is the first drawer. I added one more pyjama, which I have. And then here are the trousers, because I found two pairs of trousers. Hey, so here's my wardrobe um, number two, which is uh, only containing dresses. And the thing with the dresses is, I think it's 22 of them here hanging. Uh, I have additionally like three jumper dresses, which are for the other wardrobe. Um, but here I, I seriously like them. Some of the dresses are just because they make my daughters happy. They just like me in the different colors than black. So the flowers pretend that this is a different color. <laughs> so that's how it goes. Um, yeah. I'm not going to declutter any of these dresses right now. I know it's a lot, but I don't think it's too many. And here is an update about the strawberry pot. So there, there are 10 strawberries in total. I like how it looks like. Uh, yeah, I hope we'll have some strawberries this year. <laughs> the light changed. Uh, to summarize today's video, I think I need to just um, buy maybe one or two pairs of trousers and maybe two tops, but then I have to get through it with yeah, two pairs of trousers and then get rid with five other tops. And then I'm very happy with what I own. I think I have even excess. Um, I don't think I have crazy amount, but I don't have like too many things. I remember kind of what I own. So and I also do not complain that, oh, I don't have anything to wear. It's I actually have things to wear. Um, yeah, and I'm happy with that. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye.